Sorry, YouTube. So, I have made myself a couple of flow toys, a couple of flow props. Um, I've used different methods, and um, I've experimented with a couple of different types of grips. I've used lizard skin, I've used the EPDM grip from Dark Monk, uh, I used tennis racket over grip, and ultimately, I always wanted to know how to use this stuff, this um, cool silicone one-piece tubing that you find on high-end props. Like, um, but it always kind of mystified me, like, how do you, you know, how do you get that on there? It's really sticky, it's really tacky, and um, I asked a couple people, I asked, and they just said, well, blow it on with a compressor. And um, I kind of thought, it, it, it came across like they didn't want... They didn't really want to share because, you know, I mean, they make nice stuff and I understand they don't want everybody being able to, to do what they do. So, I forgot the stuff here. Um, I tried it. I bought some. I found that you can get it on McMaster.com for very cheap. It's like a couple of dollars a foot. Um, this is three quarter inch OD tubing. This is going to be a little pixie dragon staff. Um, and blowing it on with a compressor is actually pretty much as easy as it sounds if you have a compressor. So the only thing that you need to make sure is that the center of your tube is actually plugged. And you'll see why in a minute. So I've just got a bolt with some tape on it that I'm screwing this into the end of it so that when I go to blow the tubing onto the, the, the air doesn't just all rush through the center of it and, and uh, defeat the whole purpose. So when in doubt, use a hammer. Um, all right, so what am I going to do with my tubing? I, uh, I've already cut this to length. You sort of, you probably want to leave yourself a little extra because uh, you need a little to go around the nozzle of your air gun, as you'll see in a second. And it's really easy to um, trim once it's in place. So, since most of us don't have three hands, the easiest way to do this, I found, because I already did one prop, is to stick the end over and kind of pinch it like so and wrap it around and then use like a nylon zip tie this is just so you don't have to hold it and worry about it going all over the place while you do this you'll see in a very just a second here why I needed to plug the end so the idea is when I blow air through this thing it the air kind of has to, is forced to come out around the aluminum tube and that provides just enough lubrication for the thing to go on there. So, you start to see what I'm talking about. So it, it of course wants to blow itself off, so you have to have a firm grip on it. This is why the zip tie comes in quite handy. That can happen too. It was actually easier on the last prop I did it with, for some reason. Probably the, the clear coat is a little tacky still. Stop laughing. There we go. Once it's on there a little bit, you can put a little bit of you can put a little bit of elbow grease into it.
end, the end result is, and actually, if you use bare aluminum instead of, um, like I said, I have a pink sticky clear coat on this aluminum that made that a little bit more difficult. Uh, if you use just uncoated aluminum, the last one I did just went on, it was a snap. So, pull this plug out of the end. The reason I left it a little bit long, I will just use an X-Acto knife to trim this back so I can stick my Pixie Dragon hubs on there. So, so what I did, um, I just took some standard electrical tape and put it around the ends with one edge up against the end of the tube. The only reason I did that was as a cutting guide. Uh, this is about the right width that I need to expose to put my Dragon hubs on there. Just use your handy dandy washing machine as a work surface because it happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. go. There's my pixie dragon hub. You can see there's just about exactly enough room for it. One of the things that's really nice about this tubing also is that as you can see I have a silicone grip right up to pretty much the end of where the wicks are. So this area that get that would normally get really hot and leave nice little hot metal hickeys if they happen to touch you when you screw up, um, you're protected from them by this high temperature silicone. All right, so I've got both the hubs installed. Um, there's a couple of air bubbles underneath it that'll take a little bit while a little while to work their way out. This wasn't a problem with the other prop that I used this for. Um, again, with that sticky kind of UV reactive coating I put on it, I think that's what's causing those bubbles. I'm confident they'll work their way out, but even if they don't, they're not really affecting the way the prop handles. They just kind of make a little bit of a funny noise.